Hello and welcome to our Max UDA video tutorial. Today we will have a closer look at two mixed methods functions called crosstab and quote matrix. Both of these functions take advantage of demographic data or other variables that have been assigned to your documents. If you haven't heard about document variables yet, we recommend to watch our video tutorial about document variables first. You can find the link in the description below. Let's start with the crosstab. The crosstab function enables us to group coded segments by document variable values. The rows of a crosstab display codes, while the columns are user defined conditions. The cells tell us how often these codes occur in documents that match the selected condition. To create a new crosstab, I click on the crosstab entry in the mixed methods section of the menu. Let's say I want to find out how often some of my codes appear in interviews conducted in different locations. To do this, I select the location variable and then I define two conditions. Each condition will later be displayed as a column in the crosstab. Since I'm only interested in the codes I have already activated, I limit my selection to activated codes and click on OK to create the crosstab. The default view displays how often my codes occur in documents that took place in either Indiana or New York. If I'm interested in comparing the occurrence of codes in regard to their location, I can display row percentages instead by clicking here. Now I see that 60% of the segments coded with health occur in documents from Indiana. To look at the distribution of codes within a group, I activate the column percentages. Now I see that approximately 27% of the coded segments in interviews conducted in Indiana deal with health. You can always export the current crosstab on display by clicking on the export button on the top right. Select a file format and click on save to continue your work with another application. Like most tools in MaxQDA, the crosstab is interactively linked to your original data. A double click on a cell therefore activates the respective code and all the documents that meet the defined condition so I can read the corresponding segments in the Retrieved Segments window. Instead of displaying the coded segments of one cell in MaxQDA, we can also export all the coded segments that the crosstab refers to. To do this, I simply click on the Quote Matrix button right here and click on Save. A table opens up that is ordered similar to the crosstab with the groups as columns and the codes as rows. But instead of numbers or percentages, each cell now contains the coded segments in their full length. To help you find a segment quickly in your project, each segment ends with a comment that specifies the document and paragraph the segment comes from. Instead of going through the crosstab function to build a quote matrix, you can also create one directly from the Mixed Methods menu. The window is identical to the crosstab options. I just define my conditions in the same way and after clicking on OK, the quote matrix with all the coded segments opens up. 